Friends, brothers and sisters, welcome to Pathways of Hope, a daily reflection on the gospel and the hope that it brings to us in these times. My name is Ted and I'll be sharing some insights on the gospel for today. Today is Saturday, July 18, 2020, and the gospel reading for today is taken from the gospel according to Matthew, chapter 12, verses 14 to 21. In today's gospel, Jesus is met with prejudice from the Pharisees. In verse 14, we read, But the Pharisees went out and took counsel against him, how to destroy him. Jesus had many confrontations with the Pharisees, the lawgivers, and it seemed like they were growing more and more intolerant of what Jesus was saying or doing because simply of prejudice. There was simply nothing that Jesus could do or say that would be acceptable to them. That is the mindset that describes prejudice. It is a preconceived notion that someone is unacceptable because of what he or she says or does, or worse, simply because of who he or she is. And verse 14 of today's Gospel tells us that the Pharisees, because of their prejudice, conspired to destroy Jesus. Jesus' response in the face of such evident and manifest prejudice teaches us an important lesson in how to address the world's intolerance of Christian values and living. Instead of conforming himself to the Pharisees' view of the law and the world, the prevailing culture, Jesus preached not only a counterculture, he himself became the counterculture. Jesus did not enter into emotionally charged debates and arguments with anyone, including his opponents. He simply presented the truth in a quiet and deliberate manner and let the truth, not charged emotions, do the work. Jesus' response shows us that the only way to glory in God's kingdom is through sacrificial love. The quotation from the prophecy of Isaiah of the suffering servant explains how Jesus would accomplish his mission, not through military might and power, but through sacrificial love and service. He would not be a king who would ascend to a throne in the finest regalia, but instead he would be a king who would be mounted on a cross wearing a crown of thorns. In the face of the world's condemnation, intolerance, and persecution, Jesus responded with sacrificial love. And that is what he calls on us to do as well, daily. I pray today for the grace to be strengthened in God's love and hope that I may bring hope to those who do not know hope. I pray for the grace as well to be able to live and love sacrificially. I pray that you may be blessed with that very same grace. Friends, if you have been made more hopeful by this short commentary, please do spread that hope by sharing this with your friends. Again, this has been Pathways of Hope. My name is Ted. Thank you for listening. God bless us all.